flipping usual I'm a moron. Um, well, I'm going to zoom out a little bit. Yeah, this is turning out to be a disaster of nightmarish proportions. All right, and I'm not going through the whole goddamn thing. So, you know, welcome to my goddamn whatevers. Um, yeah, so here we go. Uh, what else? Yeah, this will be the first time um, a Festung Infantry Division um, is in combat, like an actual garrison com um, unit, uh, wasn't it? Well, I was. Uh, I should actually expect that the German ones are doing it. It was, uh, I think, more the Austro-Hungarian ones, the um, Hotzendorf divisions. I think I'm just going to be using them mostly for um, uh, reserve or, you know, like the defensive, uh, if the Russians want to try some kind of weird thing to try to sneak around but I mean it's getting so late in the day uh, um, like close to the the December truce it's not funny and I'll be honest with you I can't flip and wait to talk about um, more of the grand strategy stuff already I'm already trying to think about it's weird there's sometimes I'm also thinking about like ways of trying to end the war early for some people um, you know, I, I look over here and I'm like, well, it, unfortunately, if the Russians maybe were doing worse off uh, in uh, East Prussia, there may be a better chance they may want to sue for peace, but not right now. Um, not even with the reinforcements coming because they, you know, dismantled the, the Caucasus army um, due to the fact of the non aggression pact with the Ottomans and so on and so forth. But, Oh my God, and I've just been trying to figure out like about the Brits and about the super long, um, the super long game, they want to do that way and they certainly do not want to commit any, tr uh, like a, any long term commitment in uh, the Western Europe conflict zone. They just do not want to put a ton of troops in Europe, man. They just don't want to do it. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, the way I'm, I'm playing the Brits, they're just like, um, Look, we'll do what we can with Belgium and, and, you know, we'll put in a few bits here and there, but, uh, you know, we'll extend the front a little bit for you, but uh, you're on your own, France. Um, I'm not saying they're going to say that to France, for Christ's sakes, but um, um, I, I'm, I'm just saying they're thinking that way. Like I said, they're, they're, uh, the way I'm playing them, they're hyper-aggressive, greedy little buggers and uh, want to... Um, think long-term project wise and um, one way is to uh, consolidate their economic and um, well they want they want to control the uh, the world forever and ever amen kind of thing that's the way I, I'm viewing it so um, sorry if you you don't like the way of um, you know look I'm not anti this that or the other thing I'm just doing uh, I'm just doing my thing just um, I'm viewing things and I'm going with it so um, such is life. Trust me, man. I just finished flipping, like I said, watching the Peter, uh, Peter the Great there, Peter the First there of Serbia, and it's like monstrously, obviously pro-Serbian and so on. So not over, over the top. But I'll tell you one thing: they certainly don't mention any of the forced marches of the Austrian prisoners of war across the Albanian, Albanian mountains, do they? I mean, towards the Albanian coast, they don't mention any of that. The massive amount of dead. You know, that type of stuff. They don't show that in the movie, of course. I mean, I mean, you know, they'd be, you know, you need your head right. Um, but like I said, that, that happened. So, like, where, you know, where are you going to go? Like I said, well, I'm just using that. I'm trying to justify the fact that I'm not, like, I'm, you know, like I said, I'm not trying to be pro or negative or whatever. All right, here we go. Is the flipping camcorder working? Yes, it is. All right. Okay. Okay, so now you saw what I'm seeing, and uh, who are they going up against? Well, I just told you Anton von Saltz uh, with three supply points, so he can maybe hit them a little bit. He's got nothing left to. What do you got left, man? The 150th Infantry Division. Hopefully, you can see all. Well, you can see it over on the overhead. I just wanted you to kind of see the specifics. Yeah, and of course, you're not going to. Uh, well, I try to bridge it. Am I going to do any of one of those things? Maybe I'll do some kind of mini. Playlist thing, the Jake. Can you see that crazy ass? Uh, I'll, I'll zoom out a little bit. You can see it on the overhead, but you probably there. You see that little green arrow? Those are some leftover uh, Festung infantry divisions that just got created last turn or whatever. But they're ready to go, and um, I'm sending them off towards Eighth Army to uh, start making a push. 
um, uh, towards the south end of Warsaw to consolidate that because uh, I want to uh, see what what, uh, what we can do for um, yeah things are just not looking good are they all right so uh, I'll just zoom in a little bit more but maybe not too much more because I think you can you don't need to see whatever I'm sorry if I'm a whatever there we go yeah that's not too bad all right and we're right there all right you can see that pretty good okay let me go take a look at the rules and like I said I thought this was going to be a four foregone conclusion and it obviously isn't the four strength points you mother oh my god the first page I grab is retreat awesome in order to reduce losses defender blah 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 yeah well, like I go blah 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 it's like well you just stop you don't even know half the flipping rules Ground combat units in the same hex as a fortress are never forced to retreat. However, such units may do so if the defender wishes. Units are never requ required to retreat from a hex that contains a city or a port or if urban terrain is chosen by the defender to influence the combat. What the hell does that mean? Units are never required to retreat from a hex that contains a city. What, they just stay there and die? Was that what you're telling me? Hold on here. All ground combat units in a hex under attack are required to retreat if the result of the attack would require the defender to eliminate a number of strength points equal to at least half the strength point total. But they're Russians, so it's one third. Um, and unadjusted for supply or train of all units in the hex. There are two exceptions to this. All right, so I want to hear this because if this is the case, they may stay there. That's crazy. I've also been trying to think of like all the refugees that have been just like trying to get the hell out of there as well as rat them in the past few weeks. And of course, now it's like last chance garage, man. You better move your butt. This is not good unless you unless you want to start learning German, man. Which I should because I just pause uh, po uh, about the post in about uh, thirty five minutes or whatever um, a German U boat thing about. Uh, and I do want to read actually the English um, uh, transcript again or translation or whatever the heck. Um, yeah, because I'm I'm pretty I'm pretty pro uh, <laughs> pretty pro U boat. I'm sorry to say. Not um, like, uh, well, the, it's the fear of them. I, I, I just like, I'm just, a, I'm starting to clue in about morale and and all that stuff and, and terror and whatnot. Um, yeah, you got to play on people's minds, man. All right, so where do we go here? Units are never required to retreat from a hex that contains a city, the city center, not just an urban hex site or a port, or if urban terrain is chosen by, or if urban terrain is chosen by the defender. And it doesn't say anything after that. So if I, if I want, I can stay there forever. All right. Holy F. Okay, dope. Let's try this out. Now i got to look at the bloody terrain effects. Because I, um, I say I don't have to post this goddamn thing, but how the hell do I do that with the rolls? Because I'm not used to doing that. I would have to then, um, say okay I rolled it anyways or something because yeah I'm not uh, that's weird I, I wouldn't like roll and then uh, abort and re like uh, the only time I would roll and abort is if like you know the the die fell off the table or something weird um, oh shit man are you effing kidding me oh my god I didn't realize man you know what Maybe I should read more often, for Christ's effing sakes. Um, so it says here, urban. And as far as I know, uh, combat effects on attacks, and I'm in an urban thing. It says, ah, uh, shoots and ladders, man. Have the attacker strength. Why don't I not look at these things ahead of time? <laughs> oh my god, man. I'll try to zoom out. Lord of mercy. So, <laughs> ah! <laughs> Sorry if I, oh brother, this sucks, man. Oh, well, well no, it's a good sucks because I'm, I'm learning, but not in a good way. Well, actually, no, you know what's weird? Before I actually was even doing this, I was feeling so bad because like I, I think I mentioned it before, I am, and like I said, I'm not pro whatever, but I'm so used to doing, um, here, I'll zoom out again. 
uh, I'm so used to being the Russian player uh, in World War One and whatnot. I do, a, as far as I know, a, a pretty darn good job, and I've been doing horrible in this. And uh, I'm like, God, I just feel like, like I should be like trying to, you know, almost like I got to overcompensate or something. Okay. So let's see if I get this right. As far as I know, I hope by God I do this right. Um, so Urban is half. Oh my God! And they're gonna get plus three the die roll. Ouch! All right. Well, that's the way it works. <laughs> oh my God! So they're never forced to retreat, and I don't have to worry about the four, three, two, one, or any of that crazy nonsense. Um, I'm just, this is just beyond, <laughs> beyond crazy, man. Oh my god, I went from 20 to 10, and I thought I was a smart little bunny looking at the combat results table. I don't know if you can see this. I was looking, going, oh gosh, Chris, see? Bringing that Fistung division from six and making you go from 16 to 20, aren't you a smart little bunny? No, well, it doesn't matter anymore. <laughs> Oh man, okay, and that's a lot of supply points. Holy, I hope I'm getting these rules right, because as far as I know I am. I gotta post this even though I'm acting like a total dork, tough. Um, yeah, I'm gonna do some crazy ass stuff tomorrow too. Um, like normal, um, uh, normal human being stuff. Alright, so here we go. Uh, so it's ha. <laughs> oh my god. Alright. Here we go. So I get the roll. Bloody F. Let's see, where did we put it? Doesn't really matter, does it? Ah, oh, sweet Jesus. Oh, go there. Well, Kiltsa, here I was already, uh, like, stop the presses, I guess I could say. All right, here we go. Oh, and it's a three. So what do you do with a three on a ten? Probably not a hell of a lot. Nope, one hit. Sweet Jesus jumping. All right, I gotta write this down. What a joke. This is just beyond joke land or something. I don't know. All right, hold on here. So, Germans with all their amazing firepower, unless I uh, don't understand how to do this, which is a very good chance. So people have said, why don't you just play the rules? Maybe you wouldn't have these issues. That's not what I'm here for, man. That's not what I'm here for. Wow, Kels is going to stay. What the hell? So maybe we should have freaking made that attack uh, north, like just southwest of Radom. Well, 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 another wrinkle. Well, okay. So I just did that, and I've got four strength points, and that'll cost um, one strength point. Um, oh, sorry, one supply point for the Russians if they want to do it. And you're darn right, they're going to do it. So we're going to pop you to two, just so I can do you officially. Hold on, I got to go and get the thing. Wow, man. <laughs> Holy shit. Well, I'm glad I did this. I wasn't expecting this. I mean, seriously, uh, and I hope to God, like, I'm just, I uh, hear people like me, Andrew, Mike, will go and run to the rules and say, no, you got that wrong, man. You got that wrong. Or, no, yeah, you got that right. Kind of. Or something. But this, uh, all right, where do I put you? Mr. Von Salsa. Oh, the rate you're going, man, you're going to be taking over a hell of a lot more than just the 4th Army, I can say that much. Jesus. Alright, so uh, now we are got 4, and it's a plus 3 to the die roll, as far as I know. Alright, so here we go. And it's a 4, so a 7, and do they have 7s? Yep. And a 7 on a 4 is 2 hits. See that? All right. Oops. Sorry, guys. I'll zoom out. Oh God, this must be a butcher and a half. Well, actually, I would say mo You know what? I would say maybe most of my videos should be maybe <laughs> audio, <laughs> audio only. That's the way to play uh, or, or watch them. 
Holy crap. All right, so I've got to reduce um, two hits off of this. I might as well do that now so I'll remember. And then I'll just put the little, well, well, well. This is not going to go as easy as, as I expected. And I'm just going to say this. Um, if this is the case, boy, there's a whole other universe of um, combat and logistical issues for me to wait or uh, to worry about when people start getting me into some uh, really entrenched areas and whatnot. And uh, there's so much more for me to explore. It's not funny. Um, okay, so I got to go down to 18, and I'll figure out who gets. Uh, who gets knocked? I am just absolutely flabbergasted. I thought for sure I was going to have to figure out who was going to be advancing there, and this was just going to be a bloody walk in the park. I really did. I really did. And look, I even saw the number 42, and I used the number 42 on the Belgian plane upstairs, and a little nod to Douglas Adams and the whole nine yards, and thought I was being, like I said, a big smart bunny getting. Moving 20 strength points over and this, that, and the other thing, and then nope, I got out, um, out foxed. I'll put this guy here. Oh my god, and I, you know, might as well because it's probably going to be a long time till it happens, or if it ever does happen. So, this, I don't know if you're going to, well, you're going to see it on the little dude. That's a, another 3D printed church that I was doing as a test print, uh, well, for a meandering mic actually. And I don't know if you can, well, you'll see it on a little guy, but I'm not looking at the little wire. Yep, yeah, you can see it. And I painted it Prussian blue this weekend, uh, one of uh, the steeple bit, and I thought for 100% sure it was going to be um, uh, placed there, and the Germans were going to be, you know, drinking beer there and doing all kinds of crazy ass stuff. Oh my god, I had so many little uh, narratives, and that's not happening. All right, so that's the end of that. Okay. Did not, like I said, I did not see that coming um, for a country mile. Awesome. Awesome is, yeah, beyond awesome. It's freaking fantastic. You know, I'll just zoom out a little bit and maybe, yeah, that's it. All right, and this must be brutal. Okay, see you later.